Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. Nowadays, aircraft concepts are quite popular with many. People are interested in what the future of aviation looks like and how customers will buy aircraft in the future, what they'll look for and so on. With that in mind, Airbus and Boeing continue to study and also reveal future concepts of what their vision for the future of air travel could look like. Airbus recently unveiled their latest Zero E concept aircraft that features propulsion systems that is based on hydrogen fuel cell technology, a rapid advancement in technology, and through the release of the pod configuration, something I'll get into in this video. The new Zero E pod configuration features a total of six pods which act as standalone turboprop motors. You see these sorts of things features on the ATR and the immensely popular and world recognized Dash 8. These pods are mounted beneath the wing of the aircraft and of course this design is not new but the mere fact that they are not driven by your standard propulsion system says a lot. The Zero E aircraft lead architect said the pod configuration is essentially a distributed fuel cell propulsion system that delivers thrust to the aircraft via six propulsors arranged along the wing. Adding hydrogen fuel cells have very different design considerations so we knew we had to come up with a unique approach. On your screen now, you can see a list of the pod configuration and what elements are actually found in them. It includes a propeller, electric motors, fuel cells, power electronics, LH2 tank, a cooling system, and a set of auxiliary equipment. As for the pods themselves, they're made out of composite materials and are shaped especially to provide additional thrust during the takeoff and climb out phases of the flight. It's all very exciting to see how Airbus is actually developing their aircraft for the future. So what's the future of the Zero E pod more specifically? Well, it's still very much in the early stages of design and understanding whether the type could actually work with customers. A decision will eventually go to a final selection panel following more testings and we shall hear more in 2025 at this current point. The VP of Zero Emission, just to conclude, said, the pod configuration is a great starting point to nurture further inquiry into how we can scale up hydrogen technology to commercial aircraft. This is one option, but many more will be conceptualized before we make a final selection, a decision that is expected by 2025. What are your thoughts on this design? Do you think it could potentially work? Let me know down below and thank you so much for your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to you joining me in the next video. Oh,